Hi, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com, and this is the Yuhans U300, a unique low to mid range Android device that's going to really divide opinions. It costs $180 from AliExpress, runs Android 6.0, and has a dual SIM slot shared with a micro SD slot. In most aspects, the Yuhans U300 is what you'd expect for the price with an octa-core MTK6750 CPU, a large 5.5-inch full HD display, 4GB of RAM and 32GB of built-in storage. The specs aren't going to stun, but nor is anything going to feel laggy, and Tutu scored it around 43,000. The real differentiator here is on the back, where you'll find a real leather panel, and this is probably both the biggest selling point and biggest turnoff. It's a divisive feature and Yuhans knows it. They told me in fact that the U stands for unique and in a market crowded with hundreds of Android handsets at exactly the same price point, it's probably a winning tactic. At least they stand out and are doing something different rather than simply making cheaper copies of the high-end handsets. Other than that, the design is quite chunky. It's about a centimetre thick or so, about the same size as my iPhone 6 Plus, having added the chunkiest case I could possibly find to it. But let's be honest, literally no one in the last five years has ever said, ooh, I wish the incredibly powerful computing device in my pocket were just a few millimetres thinner. The thick, heavy-duty metal bevel also provides good all-round protection, and the rubber covering the ports means that the Yuhans U300 is in fact IP65 rated, which means fully withstands sand and dust ingress as well as protected against low pressure water jets. So you can't submerge it, probably fine in the shower though, or getting splashed poolside. That said, if you've gone to the trouble of buying a phone with a real leather backing on it, maybe you shouldn't be taking it in the shower or throwing it on the beach. The 16 megapixel rear camera is nothing amazing, but nor is it bad. There's some sample videos and images on the screen now. It did do quite badly in low light situations, but I'm comparing to an iPhone 6 Plus here, which is 3-4 times the cost, just to emphasise the difference. Compared to other budget Android devices, it actually does quite well. It does have dual SIM slots, one of which alternatively supports a micro SD card. However, it's a bit fiddly with the SIM tray rather than devices that you can just pop the back off. Also related is that the battery isn't something you can swap out, it's fully enclosed. However, there is a set of standard Torx screws all around, so maybe you can crack it open if you needed to. It's not like it's actually been glued shut like an iPhone. There is however one giant downside for US residents, and that's the fact that like most Chinese import phones, the LTE bands are not compatible in the US. 3G will work fine, but 4G will not work at all. I don't know how it is in the US, but where I live here in the UK, we actually don't have 4G yet, so despite supporting the right bands, I can't test that out for you. Anyway, this will likely be a deciding factor for you, but outside of the US or if you're in a rural area, it probably won't matter as much. In terms of the interface, Yuhans has somewhat altered the stock system, so it feels a lot more like iOS, though it's still fundamentally Android 6.0 underneath, and it didn't really feel unfamiliar or anything weird. You can still have widgets, and there's a couple of different theme choices, and you can enable OK Google Search from anywhere the screen is on, which is neat. OK Google. How's the weather today? And you'll find the usual fingerprint scanner on the back, which works well and is responsive. The larger than average 4750 milliamp hour battery should also give you around 10 hours of screen on time, and the speakers, while not great, are certainly loud. So should you buy the Yuhans U300? Well, if you like the design and can live without 4G in the US, then sure. The specs aren't amazing, but it certainly gets the job done at a reasonable price point. It just doesn't amaze in any particular aspect, so it's really the leather and metal design choices that you're buying into. Anyway, if you'd like to win a Yuhans U300 in our competition, please click the link in the description or head on over to makeuseof.com and type in the code LEATHER to get some bonus entries. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you'd like to be notified of upcoming giveaways and tutorials from all of us at makeuseof.com.